its cantaloupe. I want to get it trained to climb there. Yeah, it can spread too, but I want to try to get it to climb. And strawberries. Start simple. I have a row of carrots there under the board. Some kale. Another row of carrots. And some chard. One of the primary purposes of this bed, at least in the beginning, since I'm not going to be relying on it for food for humans, is to keep the ducks the ducks fed. So I'm sure over time I'll experiment with some other plants. I'm going to get some seeds started in these little pots and I'll grow those in the greenhouse so that if these are damaged or they don't make it or they do make it and I harvest them, I'll have a constant supply of little plants to replace these with. That's my goal anyway. Worst thing that can happen is nothing will happen, and I haven't had a garden here for a while now, so I won't be any worse off. But it's very exciting to have living things now in this garden bed. All right, so I've got some kale that I'm I'm hoping will sprout in in all of these containers on the shelf right there. I got some uh, lavender potted, need to give that a little bit more water. And then I've got some, um, just a salad mix in this container here. I started some lemon balm right here. I like to grow lemon balm. And then I went ahead and planted some peas. So I'm hoping to get a pea plant out of this pot here. I'm repurposing this old tripod that we'll use as a trellis for it. I may have to train it and tie it here and there, but my goal is to get a pea plant uh, in here. And now with my plants planted here, I just got to be patient and let nature do her thing and see if we have enough to harvest soon. So we'll have to keep an eye on our little khaki Campbell girls because they're the ones we keep catching in the raised bed. Again, they can fly. They don't fly long distances, but they can fly well enough to get up onto things higher than most of the other ducks. So send us good luck vibes, and hopefully we will have some plants to eat and feed to some of the animals soon. It's chicken liver day for the ducks. Once or twice a week I feed them some chopped chicken liver raw just because it's a great source of niacin. Ducks and geese have a pretty significant niacin requirement and they get niacin from some of the bugs and I think we may have little minnows, little fish out in the pond on the back acre. Um, the mealworms I give them, uh, there is a little bit of niacin in the feed I give them, but uh, I don't supplement it every day, so they get chicken liver consistently so that they have a nice little niacin boost. And today is chicken liver day. Just thought I'd share.
Fast, huh? That's good. You moved your nest to get to the water. Yeah, look at those precious little ones. Look at those precious little ones. Mm, so precious. So precious.